morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the family, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on a brand new video. So the other day I was actually driving on the highway and I had a situation. No, I did not get in an accident, but I could have because of what actually happened. As many of you guys know, I tend to keep fire extinguishers in my car. You never know what's going to happen. And uh, well, I'm going to roll this clip, but with no audio because your boy was not happy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, so the fire extinguisher went off in the back of my car and basically ruined the whole entire interior. I'm going to show you guys what the inside of the car actually looks like now since that whole entire incident. Here we go. Open this on up and yep, the whole entire car is covered in what is known as dry chem, aka dry chemical, which is what is inside a fire extinguisher. As you guys can see, the whole entire, oh, there we go, we just made some dust move. The whole entire car itself is actually covered. If you take a look over there, these seats were all pushed forward down, like it was laying flat. And uh, next thing you know, when the fire extinguisher went off, it went through the whole entire back of the car. But it also went all over this door, it got on that seat, even though that seat was pushed down. You come over here, even the front of the car, I had to clean the seat so I could drive and clean my steering wheel. But if you guys take a look everywhere, this stuff is absolutely everywhere and it is a mess. What I'm gonna do is take my car to one of the best car washes around in the area, have my car get washed, and then also have the inside of the car itself get cleaned out. But before I do that, I'm gonna get my mom's reaction to the mess of my car because I sent her the Snapchat of the whole entire thing when it happened. So mom, you know I sent you that Snapchat yesterday of my car basically uh, doing its thing. So go ahead, open it up, take a look, it's a mess. Holy sh Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that is what happened. <laughs> Better your car than mine. Well this was your car at one point. Yeah, but and I bought it off you. It's yours, it ain't mine. <laughs> check check the front too. Yeah, it's it's everywhere. Oh, they're gonna hate you at the car wash. I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? That's horrible. Yeah, I tried driving in it. I had, I've had to drive with the windows down just so I could breathe. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed that. My truck doesn't look at anything like Stop making fun of my car! <laughs> it's bad, I know, I get it. Just like I was considering buying it back from you. Not now. Why would I, I? I like my car. I don't want nobody to buy my car. That's pretty much how I thought my mom would react. Now I gotta get gas in the car, and then we're gonna finally get this thing cleaned out. And then we're gonna go to the best car wash around just so my car does not continue to look like this. And we got a line. But there's a reason, because this is like the best car wash in the area, so everybody comes here to get their car washed. I am gonna feel bad for the people that have to actually clean the interior of my car though. Currently, I am last in line, and like, honestly, I'm fine with that, because the whole entire situation with the car itself. I just hope nobody else pulls up behind me, because I feel like they're gonna have to wait longer just because of the mess of the car. I don't know how well you guys can actually see my car, but it's right there and they're starting to vacuum it, so we're looking good already. Here we go, getting the uh, lava special done. By the way, uh, the floor is lava. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you know what, that was like three years ago, I already lost. The guys actually came in to talk to me, he's like, hey, we got the car as clean as we possibly could right now, because nobody wants to get that stuff in their lungs, which I don't blame them, dry chem is it the greatest thing to breathe. I do appreciate their honesty, and I'm always gonna keep coming back here to Blue Wave, uh, probably just every couple of days, until I can just get the car itself fully cleaned. So I am now leaving the car wash, I'm gonna show you guys the interior of the car when we get back. Uh, it's a lot better than what 
I was expecting because of big mess. I didn't know exactly how much they'd be able to get like off the car. Uh, this is why I think this place is definitely the best car wash in my local area just because of the fact of how good they actually are. Well, I'm finally back to my parents' house. I have not seen the back of the car. I've only seen the front of the car, like inside, what the car itself looks like after the whole fire extinguisher thing happened. And uh, let's just say I think this place did a fantastic job. This is going to be my reaction to seeing the... Wow. Um, okay. It's a lot better than what it was. <laughs> they told me they wanted to uh, not have the guys breathe it in. So they got as much as they possibly could uh, cleaned up. But you know what? This, I'm fine with this stuff. I can just wipe down. I mean, the seat's clean again. Just to back this stuff. I mean, one of the things they were telling me is like that I can come back and do the full detail service, which I might end up doing, which will just clean the whole entire car itself out. But let me look in the... Uh, the back seat here and show you guys I mean if you guys remember this whole entire seat was green so for me honestly I am happy because my car is not covered in that fire stuff anymore I mean I still got a little stuff right there but I think I'm gonna end up getting a full detail done anyway because why not my car hasn't had a full detail in a while and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what the front looks like which is what matters the most to me here you guys go the car is uh, basically nice and clean again in that sense. And to be honest, I am happy. I mean, things happen in life. The fire extinguisher went off. There's not much I could do about it because uh, the pin fell out. But other than that, I mean, I got a nice wash cleaned car. And the uh, inside of the car is mostly clean. So I'll take this as a win. Before we get any further into today's vlog, I would actually like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. With Audible, you get access to an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, including bestsellers, motivation, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and more. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet, and now with Audible Originals, the section has gotten even more custom with content made for members. One book I would recommend is It by Stephen King and narrated by Stephen Weber. It's a book I personally loved and also I enjoyed listening to it and it made watching the movie it ten times better audible members can choose three titles every month one audiobook and two audible originals you can't hear anywhere else audible members also get access to exclusive audio fitness programs to start the new year off on the right foot with audible you can listen on any device anytime anywhere at home at the gym on your commute or just on the go you'll also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges rollover credits and audiobook library you can keep forever even if you cancel audible the most inspiring minds the most compelling stories and the best place to listen get started with a 30-day trial when you go to audible.com slash saxon or text sms to 500 500 and listen for a change that's right guys you can get started today with a 30-day free trial if you go to audible.com slash saxon that's a-u-d-i-b-l-e dot com slash s-a-x-t-o-n or text sms to 500 500 and listen for a change. Thank you so much Audible for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's get right back into the vlog. I have to say the weather is getting so much nicer right now in New Jersey. It's like 70 degrees outside. I got my one puppy Rex. Hi Rex, say what's up to the camera puppy. And we got Willow over there. Willow's obviously Rottweiler. I still don't know what Rex is. But the thing is right now, I'm trying to find a tennis ball somewhere in the backyard just to throw to the puppies. I mean, they love to play. They play fight with each other all the time. And uh, <laughs> he just took the bucket. Run, Rex. Run. <laughs> Run from Willow there, dog. See, like, they're going to play over things like that. But it'd be cool if I could find a tennis ball and just throw it for them. Not a tennis ball, but uh, this shall do. Let me actually switch hands here. Puppies, who wants the ball? Who wants the ball? Willow, Rex, you guys want this? You ready? Yeah. Go get it. Let's see if they'll bring it back. Come on. Oh, nope, they're just gonna fight over the ball. Will, come on. I swear my dogs are not the smartest dogs ever. The one that is the smartest is Bo and he's inside. Mom, why are our dogs not smart? I don't know, you were supposed to train them. I wasn't supposed to train them, that was supposed to be you and dad. No, you wanted dogs and that was part of the deal, you trained them. Well, I mean, you got him when I wasn't even living here. So, come here, Rex. <laughs> Hi puppy. Guys, this is like by far probably like my one of my favorite dogs ever. Yeah, you guys go play. So 
With that being said, Saxon family, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Remember guys, you could do anything you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.